Animate Project 4 Ocean Animation. This is creating an interactive animation. We are in Stage 1, importing bitmaps and working with symbols. We're going to be using a lot of artwork that was originally created in Photoshop. The Photoshop files that are imported are bitmap objects. Those are going to be raster images that can give you a larger file size. But remember that we can use symbols, which will mean that you only have to download that into the file library once, and a multiple instance of a symbol can be used without creating a larger file size. Remember that the quality of the bitmap object is defined by its resolution, and if you try to enlarge them much past their original 100%, you could end up with a poor image quality. Remember that Animate recognizes the number of pixels in a bitmap image, not the defined pixels per inch. So a 3x3 three three bitmap that is saved at 300 ppi, the image is 900 pixels by 900 pixels. Do the math. That image at 72 ppi is still 900 pixels by 900 pixels, but it's going to be 12 and a half by 12 and a half, which is way too large to fit on your screen. Start by making sure you have your files from the aquarium folder expanded into your WIP folder. We will start by creating a new animate document for ActionScript 3. You can use the shortcut off the front on this. We don't have to set up anything other than the defaults. So let's go ahead and do an ActionScript 3. And we're going to save this as Ocean. And then choose File, Import, and Import to Stage and you're going to import from the right folder the ocean PSD file. You can hide your advanced options. You're going to import this as placing objects at original position and setting stage size to the same as Photoshop Canvas, which means that we're changing it from the default to an 800 by 600 anyway, which is why we didn't need to worry about that in the beginning. So go ahead and import that, and you'll see that we have everything coming in in the layers that it was created in. You're going to select your default layer one, which is blank. That's the one that came up under new, and you're going to delete that. Go ahead and put everything to fit in the window so you can see it all clear. And we're going to copy some assets from an external library. It's fairly easy to copy some things that were put in another file. If both of the files are open, you can just copy a symbol instance over, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to open up creatures. Shift click to select the fish and the turtle. Right click, copy. In the libraries panel you're going to select the ocean file and right click an area at the bottom of the library panel below the existing assets and paste to add the turtle and the fish. You can then close creatures because we've already imported those objects. If you look at the items that we just imported, you'll see that air and turtle are bitmap images and fish is a movie clip which uses the air bitmap in it. So that's why that's imported as well. Next we're going to go to File, Import, and we're going to import and open external library. And this time we're going to pick up the library that is already in buttons. We're going to open that. This brings up the library of the other file without opening the file. So we've got that in a separate panel. The file name is showing in the library tab and we want to click the reset and shift click to select the show cave and show turtle symbols and we're going to copy those 
simply by dragging those over. We also get the starfish bitmap because that is used in the files of those buttons. You can close that external library panel now because we've got everything imported. Save your file before you lose anything. Now that we have all of our assets imported in, we can start to set things up onto the stage. We're going to select the buttons layer to make it active and drag the instances of the three button symbols onto the middle of the stage. Just don't overlap them. Select the Show Turtle button instance and using the property panel, position that instance at 40 for the X position and 510 for the Y. Using the selection tool, shift click to select all of the three button instances. Open up your alignment panel. Turn off Align to Stage and click Align Bottom Edge. That lines everything up with whatever is the lowest item selected. Next, select the Reset button and set the X position to 585. Shift click to select all three instances and in the Alignment panel, select Space Evenly Horizontally that's going to move the cave button to the center. Select the kelp image on the stage and press F8 to turn it into a symbol. Name it Seaweed. It is a movie clip and the registration should be at the bottom center. Alt click on the existing instance and drag right to make a second symbol. and do that one more time to create a third. Deselect everything on the stage and then choose the free transform tool in the tools panel and select the middle seaweed instance to select it. Drag the transformation point until it snaps to the bottom center and then click the top center bounding box handle and drag down to make it a little bit shorter. From the library panel, double click the seaweed instance so we can edit the symbol. The free transform tool should still be selected. Drag the transformation point down to that bottom center bounding box handle. Open your transform panel. For some reason I can't access it off of this. It won't let me. So I have to open this one. Make sure that the link is turned off for the percentage and scale the height down to 80%. In the edit bar, go back to scene one. The change that we made to the library symbol itself is reflected across all three of the symbol instances on the stage. I'm going to move my transform out of the way and I think I'll nest that up here and get rid of this one. That wasn't working for me. And picking up my selection tool, I am going to click to select both of the rocks that make up the cave. I'm going to press F8 to convert those two selected objects to a single symbol and call it cave. It is a movie clip and I want the registration point to be the bottom right. And I'll say OK to that. In the timeline panel, in the timeline panel, I want you to see that both of these instances have now moved up to Boulder 2. The bottom layer of the cave folder is now blank. There's nothing there. So if I hide it, it won't hide anything. Both of these are in the Boulder 2 layer. I'm going to rename that layer Cave 
and drag that instance of that layer out of the folder, then I can select the cave folder and delete it. Select the cave instance on the stage and in the properties panel we're going to change the X position to 850. That's going to run the rock off the stage. If we had originally placed those items in that position in the Photoshop file, the imported image would have been clipped at the edge of the stage. So remember that if you create artwork in Photoshop, make sure that everything is entirely inside the edge of your canvas. Otherwise, the items will be clipped off when they're imported into Animate. We want to double click that Cave Movie instance on the stage so that we can edit this in place. Drag an instance of the fish symbol movie clip out of the Libraries panel to place it on the stage and we want to put it in between the rocks. We want just his head to be sticking out and with him still selected choose Modify, Arrange, and send backward. That puts him between the two rocks. Go back to scene one and save your file and then we're going to do a little bit of cleaning up just to organize your folders a little bit better. And now we're going to do a little bit of housekeeping with our library folder just to keep everything a little bit neater and a little better organized. We're going to start by selection the Ocean PSD Assets folder. We're going to rename that Bitmap. We're going to put all of our Bitmap images into that folder. Expand that out and if you'll see the cave folder in there. We want to pick up the Boulder 1 and Boulder 2 artwork and drag that up so that it is in the Bitmaps folder rather than in the nested folder and then you can take and delete the cave folder. We're going to move any of the other bitmap images into that folder. And you can tell which items are bitmaps simply by the icon next to it. So we'll have quite a bit moved into there. Next we want to create another folder and we're going to name that folder Buttons and we'll move all of our buttons into there. We have Reset, Show Cave, and Show Turtle. And we want another folder called Movie Clips. And we'll move Seaweed, Fish, and, and Cave Copy into those folders. You can collapse those. That makes things a little bit neater. And save your file.